By order of an American judge, Harry Tinsley faces potential expulsion as lies about his visas come to light. Hello, friends. Welcome to the King YouTube channel. Earlier today, a judge directed the Department of Homeland Security to provide sensitive material regarding Prince Harry's immigration papers for his review. As he deliberates on whether to disclose them publicly, he has requested explanations from the Immigration Oversight Agency about the potential harm that could result from revealing Harry's visa application. This development follows claims from the Heritage Foundation, a think tank, suggesting that Harry may have misled authorities about his drug use in his immigration paperwork, despite admitting to drug use in his memoir and the Netflix docuseries. If indeed he provided false information on his entry forms, he could face deportation from the U.S. or be barred from entry by border agents. It seems now we may understand why another story surfaced about Meghan attempting to return to the U.K. The attempt to cover up this scandal is quite apparent. The judge's request to examine these documents is a positive indication that the matter is being taken seriously. Even the judge seems to have his doubts. Harry should be held to the same standards as anyone else when entering the U.S. The laws of the land must be applied impartially. It's important to remember that if he failed to disclose information that could have impacted the decision on his eligibility for admission to the U.S., then he must face the consequences as required by law, including potential deportation. If Harry did disclose details on his visa application that would typically disqualify others from entering the U.S., then the individuals responsible for authorizing his admission must be identified. They should be required to testify under oath and justify why they didn't adhere to standard procedures. It's high time for Harry to be held accountable for his actions and face the consequences. Throughout his life, he's been shielded and indulged by those around him. Despite nearing 40, he's rarely been told no and has always received what he desired. Perhaps this situation will finally instill some humility in him and make him realize the privileges he once had. On the other hand, if he didn't lie on the immigration form, that could absolve him. However, authorities claim they permitted his entry because they believed his drug use was only in the past. While Harry's confession to ongoing drug use in the U.S. might absolve him of lying on his immigration form, it's likely authorities will have to acknowledge that his drug use wasn't solely historical. Consequently, they may revoke his visa on those grounds. It seems the judge wasn't swayed by the argument presented, which indeed appears rather weak. By making his drug use public in his book and TV show, Harry forfeited his right to privacy on this matter. He and Americans deserve to know if there's a two-tiered immigration system in place. Though the issue is both personal and political, I find it reassuring that this investigation is happening. It's unfair for Harry to receive expedited processing and entry to the U.S. while thousands remain stuck in processing queues. It's evident that Harry's move to the U.S. wasn't prompted by persecution in the U.K. This case is crucial in determining whether legal immigrants are treated fairly or if the wealthy and influential receive preferential treatment. The Department of Homeland Security's resistance to allowing a judge to review the documents is suspicious. What are they attempting to conceal? Could the administration be concerned about a more significant scandal? Checks and balances are essential for a functional and healthy government. The information on Harry's visa application is indeed crucial, and it's in the public interest to obtain it. If the details on his visa application differ from what he disclosed in his memoir and interviews, it raises questions about his honesty and integrity. If he lied about drug use to enter the U.S. or to sell books, it calls into question his credibility on other matters. Does Harry understand the concept of honesty and truthfulness? Either he lied on his immigration visa application or in his book. Either way, it undermines his credibility. Everything Harry and Meghan have done seems to be backfiring on them now, prompting a son in panic to rehabilitate their image in the UK just in case. It seems like Trump might actually fulfill his promise and Harry and Meghan's bank account might be suffering as a result. I wouldn't be surprised if they do get kicked out of the U.S. They might try to run up to Canada to stay close to their U.S. friends, but I doubt the people of Canada want them either. It's hard to say who would want them at this point. 
Harry might be starting to worry about getting kicked out, especially with reports of Meghan looking for a PR company to improve her image in the UK, possibly preparing for a return. However, Harry shares equal responsibility for where he has ended up. While Meghan was a significant influence, Harry's behavior and character were likely smoothed over by the royal family's PR people. There's a lot about the royals that ordinary people like us will never know. These are the mistakes the palace would have likely caught early to avoid embarrassment, such as advising Harry not to include certain details in his book that could conflict with his immigration paperwork. If Harry had nothing to hide, he could have cleared this up by consenting to the release of the documents. The fact that he has stayed quiet throughout all this speaks volumes. I'm not even sure if he filled out an application at all. He might have just used his diplomatic passport to enter as a working royal. Alternatively, he may have marked no on the form, thinking it wouldn't be a big deal because he's a prince. Or perhaps he marked yes and the Department of Homeland Security simply looked the other way. This is why I believe the Department of Homeland Security might want to withhold information about how they treated Harry compared to ordinary people. It seems like William got all the good stuff from both sides of our family, while Harry got stuck with all the not-so-great things. He never really thinks about what might happen later when he says stuff about his relationship, money, or even when he's using drugs. Nobody's keeping an eye on him or giving him a heads up about what might go wrong. But honestly, that's on him. I can't help but wonder if Harry and Meghan Markle are realizing now that being part of the royal family gave them more protection than they thought. If they just left quietly and respectfully, none of this mess would be going on. But no, they had to be ungrateful and burn every bridge on their way out. They acted like they were flawless, ignoring all the obvious mistakes they made. They really thought they were something special, even bigger than the late queen herself. Harry even compared them to rock stars, but they never realized that people only liked them because of their royal ties. So when they came to the U.S. and tried to act like they were setting up their own royal court, it was bound to backfire. You can't act tough to sell books and then act innocent on official forms. And Harry, you can't say you're not part of the royal family anymore, but then expect diplomatic help when you're in trouble. Make up your mind. Now it seems like their time in the U.S. is running out and they're eyeing a return to normal royal life in the U.K. But let's be real, that's never going to happen. They can dream all they want, but they've burned too many bridges. No PR agency could repair their relationship with the British public. Just consider everything they put the Queen through in her final years. They made life miserable for everyone, especially Catherine, the Princess of Wales. They trashed their reputation, and nobody's going to forget that easily. They can try to act like they're saints now, but it's all just a show. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you find my video helpful, feel free to share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our The King YouTube channel for future updates. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, and I'll catch you in the next videos.